welcome back to my channel. So thanks very much for joining me today, everybody. Uh, today I'm whispering because I've got my P Metallica enclosures here. I've got two of them and they're getting to a good size now. So I want to be able to show them to you in a second, but these are so shy at the minute, any bit of light and uh, they run off. So I've had them in the kitchen with the light on now for two hours. So they've got used to it and one of them's coming out. So I'm going to try and attempt to do it and show you them. But uh, if anybody is new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Plus, always leave a comment below. But um, I've had these for quite some time, so I'm not sure how long I've had them. So if I have some previous footage of me putting them in, I'll put it up now. Here's me unboxing them from Creatures from the North. Can't seem to find loads of these around at the minute, so we need to get these breeding in the hobby at the moment. But you can see it was absolutely gorgeous. We housed them both in the same enclosure like this with the luscious green, and they actually started to web and feed. So they've grown really, really well. So let's go show you the rest of the video and see how they're doing now. But this one here is more scared and shy. Um, don't really get threat poses from either of these P Metallicas, but I wanted to show you the size of them. So let's see if I can open them up and show you. So that is the first one that I can show you there. And it is inch and a half. So it's, a, it's getting on to be a good size. So I still keep it in these really large deli cups. Look, they're absolutely massive. But uh, this P Metallica is just, this one's a little bit more unpredictable. It could run like dead fast at the drop of a hat. The other one is just so shy. I lift the, leave the lid off, it doesn't do anything. I could feed it and it will just stay there and take. But this one, I'll show you now when I grab a prey item, never takes off the tongs. <laughs> but let's just see, today could be the day. But also what it does is it runs the opposite direction from this and it just flies out of the actual tub. So let's just see what happens. This is a good distance to go from because they have good eyesight, these. It's different every time. Now it's just like it's unsure. So unusual, this one. No idea if this is male or female. Oh, wasn't a defense. It's gonna come round, look. Look at that, so it's not hungry. But at least we've got a chance to have a good look at it. Absolutely stunning. And look how chilled that was. Definitely gonna rehouse this in a nice glass enclosure once it gets a little bit bigger, but there you go, it's not hungry at all. But look at the abdomen with the red coloration. Just see, it's turned around. Not a threat at all, look. Just comes out of the way. Look at that, there we have it. One of my beautiful P Metallicas. Not hungry at the minute. So is that a sign that's going into Primo or is it just not like the light? Because I think it doesn't like the light, but because of that behavior, it was just so chilled and so calm. I'm not gonna leave this cricket in. It's gonna give it a light mist. It's what I normally do with this. I've got the water bowl there at the top but I normally just give it a little light mess that should go down. There you go. And it normally goes under the cork bark. And that's all I do. And I do that every two days and make sure that water dish is topped up. But let's have a look at the second one. And this one is nearly two inches, but as you can see, it's turning round. But this one, I can never get good footage of it here, look, because of the way it's done, but it lives Fossorially, and this is Pinatalica, and it's still a good size now, but it lives right at the bottom, all scrunched up. Let's see if I can get 
camera in. There it is, but it's not going to focus. Let's see if I can offer it a prey item. Sorry, I can't seem to get a good view of this one. Oh, look at that. You can see the coloration on it though, but nearly two inches this one. But as I said, this one's permanently live sorely. Comes out at night, walks up and around, can be seen out on the side, spread out. It fans all its legs out. But then during the day, uh, it's right down at the bottom because that's how it was as a baby lift fossorially, which I didn't really notice with uh, my other P Metallicas. They sort of just did a little bit of webbing and did some, uh, what do you call it, like sort of hammocks and stuff. But you see how I kept these previously. Thought I'd show you my previous adult female P Metallica, the only one that I got to an adult. She was really calm and one of my personal faves. This was her pairing with two males over the course of a couple of weeks and I thought it was going to go successfully into a sack but she was so calm, so placid, she didn't eat the male, she was one of the best spiders I've had. I uh, did a few videos with her as well and um, yeah she paired successfully and then one day just died for no reason, not in a molt because she molted two months before I started, three months before I started pairing her and she was keen, you could see the previous video where I paired her and yes yeah, she pops her fangs out but she was so non-aggressive to these but then she got stimulated very well from the pairing but then acted weird afterwards for about two three days and then just died so I have no idea what happened to her but she was absolutely gorgeous so I thought I'd just quickly show you that and let's get back to the video. Well I kept them in the tubs and they did some webbing on there and you can see how they were kept but yeah, it's gone straight into these and it lives for sorely now, so, but it comes out, but it's definitely doing well. And at least that one fed, but I can't get you a really clear picture of that one because this one's a bit more shyer, but there we go. P Metallica's doing well, growing on. Probably the next time you'll see these would be upstairs in my room and they'll be in their glass enclosure. So I will do a video of that as well, but there we go, she's feeding down at the bottom. So thanks very much for that one and I'll see you on the next one.